At the beginning of the movie, we watch a fire raging behind the stained glass windows. Rescuers pull an exhausted man out of the room. Next, we observe Veronica Miller, or simply Ronnie, sitting in a car. Together with her brother John, the heroine comes to her father in a small coastal town for the summer. Ronnie's mother Kim notices a burned church, around which the workers are hanging around. Steve watches the arrival of the car from the balcony. John hugs his father happily and is amazed that he lives on the beach. Ronnie reacts rather withdrawn and ignores Steve, which upsets him. The heroine sullenly wanders along the sunny beach, looking at people. Ronnie buys a cocktail and passes by the volleyball court. There, a guy named Will accidentally falls on the heroine, causing the drink to spill on her t-shirt and jeans. The guy sincerely apologizes, offers to make amends, and also asks Ronnie to watch him play. However, the girl does not agree to stay, although she forgives Will. Ronnie's parents discuss her future. Kim says that the heroine has not played the piano since Steve left the family. Also, Ronnie has barely been able to finish high school and doesn't want to enroll somewhere for further education. When Kim leaves, the man goes with John to his workshop where he makes a stained glass window for the church. The boy gladly offers Steve his help in this case. Meanwhile, the heroine, choosing a t-shirt on the beach, meets Blaze. The girl convinces Ronnie to steal a t-shirt from the counter, but she refuses. John warns the heroine that her father is looking for her. To hide from Steve, Ronnie gives her younger brother some money for silence. The heroine tells her new friend that her parents broke up a few years ago, causing her great pain. Blaze introduces Ronnie to her boyfriend Marcus. He has a rather strained relationship with Will, who not so long ago soiled the heroine's t-shirt. Ronnie notices that the guy is still looking at her with interest. Steve is having dinner with his son, occasionally glancing at the empty plate standing next to him. The girl and her new friends are settling in under the bridge. When Blaze leaves to get a drink, her boyfriend sits down next to the heroine and starts hugging her. The girl notices Marcus' behavior and gets very angry. Ronnie pushes the guy away and demands that he does not touch her anymore, after which he leaves. The heroine returns home and enjoys listening to the music that her father writes. Ronnie enters the house, acts rude again, and goes to bed. John asks the heroine to be gentler to her father as he is afraid of losing him again. Ronnie promises her brother that this will never happen. Washing up, the heroine has an argument with Steve and says she won't start playing the piano again. The next day, a man prepares an appetizing breakfast, but Ronnie, barely glancing at it, leaves. John tells that the heroine has been a vegetarian for a year. Ronnie sits by the sea and watches the waves. On the beach, the heroine notices a raccoon digging in the ground. The woman explains that the animal most likely found turtle eggs. Ronnie rushes at the raccoon with a scream and sees that the nest has survived. The heroine tries to protect it with a fence and calls a special service. Her activities are watched with interest by Steve, trying to establish a relationship. Later, Ronnie buys a book about turtles and sits with her in a cafe. The heroine is noticed by Will and decides to talk and apologize again. Ronnie is a little reluctant to talk to the guy and goes home. The heroine notices that the raccoons are trying to destroy her fortifications and so decides to stay the night near the nest guarding the eggs. Noticing the raccoon, Ronnie screams and runs down the beach. In the morning, the heroine is awakened by Will, who works in the biological service. The guy jokes about Ronnie's hair and says that the barriers will have to be removed in order for the turtles to get to the ocean. At the store, the heroine runs into Blaze. The girl is angry with Ronnie, believing that she was flirting with Marcus. Suddenly, the guard stops the heroine and inspects her purse in which there is a bracelet. Ronnie realizes that Blaze planted it on her. Steve takes his daughter home and doesn't believe her. Ronnie gets angry and starts packing to go home. John supports this, believing that the heroine is just ruining everything and will be better off without her. Steve ends up believing his daughter's story and promises to talk to the store owner to straighten things out. In the evening, Ronnie again comes to the beach to guard the nest. There the heroine unexpectedly sees Will, who has brought a lamp and a record player to scare away the raccoons. Ronnie talks to a guy about his life and is amused by his jokes. Steve and John are watching the couple with binoculars. 
Ronnie occasionally looks at the guy and smiles at him. Suddenly, Steve appears next to the couple. The man silently moves the guy's chair farther away and draws a line in the sand between it and the heroine's place. In the morning, John brings a sleeping will some food. The guy thanks Ronnie for the evening and suggests going on a real date sometime. It takes place at the aquarium, where Will writes messages for the heroine through the glass. Ronnie has fun and enjoys the time spent with the guy. After the date, Will takes the heroine to a volleyball game. There, she is taken aside by a girl named Ashley. She tells the heroine that Will often arranges such dates in the pool, and he had quite a few girls. Meanwhile, Steve, along with his son, continues to work on the stained glass window. Soon the man notices an upset Ronnie on the couch. When Will arrives, the heroine yells at him and hides in her room. Steve tells the guy to wait a while, and Will sits on the beach near the nest. John watches the guy and bets a dollar that Will will sit there all night. Ronnie shows up on the beach and finally admits that she left because she doesn't want to be another toy. To convince the heroine of the sincerity of his feelings, Will kisses her. Ronnie becomes even more lively, which pleases her father very much. The heroine spends a lot of time with Will. She walks and enjoys life. The guy takes her to the beaches, leaves drawings on her sneakers, allows Ronnie to swim with scuba diving in the aquarium. Riding in a pickup truck, the heroine sings along to one song and surprises Will with her vocals. The guy's car gets stuck in the mud, which also becomes an occasion for fun. Soiled, but satisfied, the lovers continue their journey. It turns out that Will wants to introduce the heroine to his family. Ronnie sees that the guy is not so simple, because his family lives in a posh mansion with a huge territory around. Will convinces the heroine that no one is at home, and they will have time to wash. However, at this moment, the guy's mother Susan appears on the stairs. At dinner, Ronnie feels awkward, especially after learning that the guy is going to his sister's wedding with Ashley. Will explains that family has become a burden to him after one incident. About a year ago, he was riding in a car with his mother and brother. Susan failed to control the car, causing Mikey to lose his life. Will experienced the loss very hard, as well as the rest of his family. It was because of this that the guy tried to console himself by dating many girls. About his wealth Will did not tell, so as not to scare off the heroine. Ronnie is very sympathetic to the guy and hugs him. The heroine also decides to reveal one of her secrets to Will. She takes him to the piano and plays it brilliantly for the first time in a long time. Ronnie returns home and goes to her father's workshop. The heroine tells Steve that she has finally sat down to play the piano and feels just fine. In addition, Ronnie admits that she has something she needs to talk about. Steve realizes that it's all about Will and supports his daughter's feelings. Ronnie gratefully hugs her father and goes to bed. The next day, the heroine goes with her family to Will's game, where she is discussed by Ashley. The guy plays brilliantly, which causes Ronnie's delight. Soon the heroine receives from Will's family an invitation to the wedding. With the happy news, Ronnie runs to her father, who spends a lot of time in the church. Steve gives his daughter money for a dress and learns that she has heard rumors that it was he who allowed the fire in the church. The man admits that it was most likely him, but his mind was confused due to pills at the time of the tragedy. Ronnie begins to panic, but her father swears to her that it's in the past and everything is fine now. The heroine feels strongly about her father's guilt and tells it to Will. The guy talks to Scott and asks him to confess that he was responsible for the fire. Walking down the street, Ronnie sees Marcus fighting with his girlfriend and chases her away. The heroine takes pity on Blaze and gives her his money. Ronnie picks out dresses at home that her brother sees. John decides to share with the heroine his savings, which he earned by arguing with his parents. Together with his brother, Ronnie chooses a dress and goes to the wedding. Steve warns Will to behave himself. The guy is delighted to see Ronnie and kisses her. After the ceremony, among the waiters, the heroine notices Blaze. The girl tells that she broke up with Marcus and thanks Ronnie for the money. However, soon Blaze's ex-boyfriend attacks her and tries to take her away. Seeing Ronnie, Marcus switches to her, for which he receives from Will. Susan, upset by her son's behavior, asks him to leave with both girls. When Will drives the heroine home, they are met by a joyful John. The boy is sure that the turtles will soon appear and asks them to go to the beach with him. With the help of a flashlight, 
Will helps them get to the ocean. Steve is about to go to the house to get something. Ronnie suddenly notices her father falling and asks to call emergency services. The heroine learns that Steve has been diagnosed with cancer. A man has asked for a reduction in his medication to be with his children. The heroine enters Steve's room. She is crying and angry that she found out about the illness so late. John, having learned of his father's illness, is also greatly distressed. At night, the boy cries in the workshop as he cannot reach the tools. Ronnie promises that, together with her boyfriend, she will help him finish the stained glass window while Steve is in the hospital. In addition, the heroine often visits her father and spends a lot of time with him. Steve sees the stained glass window his son made and is proud of it. Will decides to talk to his friend again and asks him to confess. Scott ends up going to Steve, but he forgives him and doesn't want to go to the police. Ronnie overhears this conversation and escapes to the street. The heroine breaks up with Will over a lie. When Susan arrives, Ronnie says he wants to stay with his father. The heroine rereads Steve's letters that she hasn't read before. The man asks Ronnie not to stop playing and to do it for himself. Steve is sad that he won't be able to finish his song in time because his hands hurt. Ronnie decides to write the music for her father, trying to put all her love for Steve into it. After finishing playing, Ronnie realizes that her father has left this world. At the funeral at the church, the heroine notices Will. Ronnie sits down at the piano and plays the very tune that Steve began to write. Before leaving, the heroine notices Will on the beach and makes up with him. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.